Well, that's what I see. That, that's what I love to do is like geek out on all the theory. Yeah. And then like take it and translate it into like human speak. <laughs> So maybe we could begin with, you know, just talking a bit about like how you practice and how you, you know, how you think of the way you work. So I definitely consider myself an experiential therapist. I'm pretty integrative because I've been doing this a while, about 20 years, but, um, but I also love geeking out on theory. So I love learning different techniques. Um, My main ones, as you said, are ADP. I draw a lot on IFS and coherence therapy is a pretty primary for me. Um, some somatic experiencing pact. <clears throat> and I love how, ha- you know, having gone to the trainings and <clears throat> reading about and listening and practicing, but I also just love to learn about, it's almost like finding what are the common elements or like, if this is true and this is true, what hasn't quite been said yet. So it's like, it's, I love participating in that and like sort of developing theory and finding ways to explain it and kind of put in everyday language, not just for my clients, but really my passion is teaching. So for my students, like, okay, so I think they're also trying to say this, you know, here's the bottom line. And then this theory does this aspect really well. And this theory does this aspect really well and how you might integrate them. Um, But all the theories I do integrate are definitely experiential because I believe that's how the mind learns is their experience. So um, in terms of like, could you give it, give us an example um, I know we're kind of jumping in quite early into this, but mm-hmm. like a way you might work with it with a new client that would be experiential. Yeah, well, well, you know, there's there's a number of ways to think about what experience what experiential therapy is about. So one, so let me just say a couple things. 